I'm going to go into a demo course. So I'm going to enter the email address and then the password I just created. And then we're going to hit login. And now I'm going to launch my course. All right, so now we are on the ExamFX main menu. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go through some of the features of the ExamFX course, show you some of the bells and whistles that I believe kind of sets us apart. Um, first thing that we're going to do is the virtual study calendar. So this is where a candidate can create a calendar that is specific to their study needs and their schedule. Um, it's also state and test provider specific. So it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do on a daily basis based on not only your schedule, but also the state that you're in. So we're going to go into the virtual study calendar, and that's going to bring us to the calendar preferences. Um, so what I want to enter here is I want to enter what day do I want to start studying? When, I, when do I want to begin the program? Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick today's date. And then what day do I want to take the actual exam? I highly recommend that they're picking a date between five and seven days uh, from when they start. The quicker we get through the material, um, the easier it is to retain and the better the results on the state. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and for this, go ahead and pick a five day plan. Um, and then what days are you available to study? Again, I'm going to pick every day. You may have something specific to your schedule that changes this. Maybe you have night class on Wednesdays, um, you know, Sunday's a day of rest and we don't want to look at this at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put every day for the purpose of this demo. Um, and then I'm going to save this calendar. Now what this is going to do is every time I come into the course, when I click on Thursday the 19th, it's going to tell me exactly what chapters I need to complete and then take those end of chapter quizzes. Um, each day, I'm going to have a new task. And everything that it's showing me is taking me along the path so that when we get to the 23rd, I'm taking my guarantee exam. Um, when we get to the 24th, which I said is my testing day goal, um, it's gonna say, what are you doing here? It's testing day, get to the testing center. Um, so everything that we enter into that calendar preferences is going to tell us exactly what we need to do in our particular course to make sure that we're, we're meeting our goal of, of when to test. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to the main menu. And then I wanna run through a few other features. So the, the main feature that the candidates are gonna spend the majority of their time in is our study by topic. This is our chapter material. Um, I'm gonna run through just a few of the chapters to give you a kind of a layout of how everything looks. Um, the first is the introduction chapter. This has some great tips for preparing yourself for the exam. Um, study tips, test taking tips um, about the exam itself. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, this is what I think is the most pertinent. This is going to break down your state's exam. So this, this in particular in our demo is the Texas Life Exam. What this is doing is it is telling you the percentage of questions that are coming from each of our chapters. Why that's unique is our chapters are actually labeled the same as the topics on the state outline. So when you take your real Texas test, 14% of the questions are going to come from completing the application and underwriting. So you know when you're taking our practice test, we are matching that same percentage. So we're giving you the same weight of the exam that you're gonna experience. Okay, now I'm gonna go into chapter one, just to give you an idea of how the chapters are laid out. We're gonna start every chapter with a video. So we're gonna tell you what you're gonna expect. Uh, these are about usually about three to five minute videos. Um, and then we're gonna give you terms to know. Um, I'm sure we all remember back in high school and college, we like to go straight to the glossary get the, get the, uh, the uh, important terms any way that we could to kind of cut the, uh, the study process. So we're bringing those to the front for you. Terms to know, these are things that you're gonna need to know in each chapter. Um, and then once you begin the reading process, you're gonna notice that we have both reading um, and we have videos. So I'd highly recommend that, that candidates you, utilize both the, the reading and the videos. Um, it's gonna appeal to those different learning styles depending on how you learn best. Um, we have anywhere between 12 and 15 videos in every chapter. The main objective in every chapter is to get through the chapter and take this end of chapter quiz. Each end of chapter quiz is going to have 15 questions. We want that 70 or better on the end of chapter quiz before we move on. 
Um, again, the, the quiz is going to give you immediate feedback. So it's going to tell you whether you got it right or wrong and why and give you this, the description. But I think one of the most important things that the quiz is going to do is if you get a question wrong, we can click on review content. It's going to take us back into the reading material. So it's turning that negative into a positive. Um, we've even got a blurb that says, know this. This most likely is something that they're definitely going to know, and there's going to be a question like this on the test. Um, so it's, again, giving that, that candidate, if they missed the question, giving them a chance to re-review the material, turning that weakness into a strength. Okay, once we have completed all of the, all of the chapter quizzes, 70 or better, I'm going to go ahead and return to my study by topic here. Once we have completed all the chapters with a 70 or better, we're going to get green check marks in each of the boxes here. Um, then what we want to do is we want to start simulating the exam. So we want to start, stay, start taking a practice exam. Um, but the first thing that we want to fo focus on before we do that is the key facts. So before we exit the chapters, um, I'm going to give you what, what my instructors don't like me to call is the cliff notes version of our course. These are our key facts. Um, this is where our instructors have actually taken notes on all of the chapters and giving us pertinent notes on each chapter for us to know. So I always tell a candidate, don't focus too much on taking notes on each chapter. We've done it for you. Um, so this is a great review tool. All right, so now we can go back to the main menu. Okay, so now we're ready to simulate your exam. Um, what is unique about our simulated exam is it's going to look just like the, the state and testing provider. So this is actually going to look like your, like the exam that you're going to see at the testing center, right down to the color of the buttons. Um, so, what, so now that we're kind of locked into our houses and we've got, we've got extra time to kind of practice, this is going to get you very familiar with the module. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run through just a few questions. Right. And then I'm, I want to actually see a score sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and quit this exam. And then this is going to give us our score sheet. So hopefully you did a lot better than the 1% I just did. Um, the reason I want to show you this score sheet is at the end of every exam attempt, it's going to tell you where, where you did well and then where you struggled. So at the end of every exam attempt, it's going to tell you how many questions were asked in total, how many questions were asked from each chapter, and then how many you got right or percentage correct. That's going to allow us to kind of pinpoint where, where are we str struggling and where are, we, where are our strengths. That way we can kind of go back and target study the material. Feel free to use this extra time that we have to take this exam as many times as you want until you're scoring the upper 70s to low 80s. The most important thing, though, is to make sure that every time you take the exam, you are going back and target studying your problem chapters. So any, anywhere that you see less than a 60% correct, we want to go back into those chapters and re-review. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to show you some additional tools that you can use. Okay, so one is going to be the on-demand video lectures. So this is going to be for our visual learners. Um, this is going to be, these are videos again, but these are going to be more instructional based. So they vary from the scenario based videos that we have in the chapter. Um, so we're actually going to take you to the classroom here. And you're able to pick out the key concepts or the subjects, subject matter that you're struggling with and watch anywhere between five and seven minute videos on that particular subject and hopefully turn that weakness into a strength. Right. We also, for additional review and, and, and target studying, we also have the online flashcards. Again, we're going to click on the online flashcards. We can pinpoint what topic we're struggling with. So if we struggle with the types of life policies, we've now got a 62 card deck here um, that we can actually practice those terms. So we're able to specifically kind of target study the chapters we're struggling. 